Welcome back everyone. This is AP Computer Science. I am Mr. Linenberger and this is going to be a very short little lecture on escape sequences. The objectives of this presentation are to discuss the problem that required the creation of the escape sequences um, and then we're going to talk about how we can use escape sequences to solve those problems and we're just going to introduce the most common escape sequences. So, one of the big problems in programming is how do we actually output a quote? Because if you think our system.out.println takes, we have to wrap our string literal in double quotes in order for it to print on the screen, in order for that command to work. So, if I actually wanted to print a quote, so if I wanted those double quotation marks to get printed on the screen, how am I going to go about doing that? So this guy is Homestar Runner. He's looking at a thing in a bag. And I'm a big Homestar Runner fan. So I want to write a program that's going to output the following to the terminal. I want my program to say, Homestar Runner says, I'm looking at a thing in a bag. <clears throat> so how can we do this? If I pop over here to my Blue Jay, all right, I can get. Yeah, let me clear that out. I'm going to say Homestar Runner says, and again, you'll notice that there are no double quotations. So, if I, if I just try and type it in, if I just try and type it in like this, you'll already notice that we're probably going to run into issues because my, my string literal normally gets syntaxed into green. Um, and you can see that my string literal is ending here, and then I've got this black stuff. So probably what's going to happen is the, the program is going to try and run this as if it were a specific code. So if I run this, all right, we get an error. I write parenthesis ex expected because it's expecting a right parenthesis at the end of that string literal. So what's really happening is I'm trying to get those double quotes for my quotation, but that first double quote is actually ending my string literal, and then it's just kind of going from there. So this is where we need what are called escape sequences. And escape sequences are going to let us print out things like double quotations when they're inside of string literals and some other things that we normally wouldn't be able to print out um, inside of our print statements. So let me just kind of show you how it's going to work. And so to get this double quote to actually print as part of my string literal, we have to do what's called escape it. So, and our escape sequence will always start with a backslash and then the character that you want to actually print. So, as the computer is, as our Java virtual machine is trying to run the statement, as it's going through the string literal, it sees this backslash and realizes hey, this backslash means to ignore whatever character is next. So that means whatever character is next is forced into the string literal and is not part of um, the actual command. So we can say... And then again, the second double quote, that's not the end of our string literal. That is the end of our quotation so 
we need to escape that quotation as well to print it out. And then I need one more quotation to end my string literal. So you'll notice that right now I don't have a string literal, but as soon as I end that string literal, now everything gets highlighted green, which means all of that stuff is going to be my string literal. And so now when I run this command, I get my quote with my double quotes. So that's the concept of our escape sequence. Now another thing was, well, if our backslash means that's to escape and ignore the next command, how do you think we're going to print a backslash? So if I try and run this command right here, I'm just printing out here's a backslash, and I put my backslash, and you'll notice that it all highlighted green, so this is all a string literal. So you should think that it should print out here's a backslash colon with the backslash sign. But when I actually run it, all right, we get an error saying a legal escape character. That's because we don't have anything. It's trying to escape nothing right now. It's trying to escape my, well, it's not escaping nothing. It's trying to escape my space key, um, which isn't an actual escape character. So to actually print a backslash, you actually have to escape a backslash. So that first backslash is going to be our escape. And then the second backslash is going to be the character that we want printed. And you can see that we print our backslash. Um, so our most common escape sequences, we've talked about the double quotation, we've talked about how to print the backslash. Um, the other one that we need for this class is the new line character. All right, the escaped new line, the backslash n. And what that's going to do is that's just going to it's going to act kind of like a print line where at, after we do a print line our cursor gets sent to the next line down and back over all the way to the left well this new line this slash n will do that in the middle of your uh, string literal and I'll demonstrate that in just a second um, here are some other common escape sequences these we're not going to be using um, the only one that the AP class or AP test requires are just these first three. All right, our new line escape, our double quotation escape, and our backslash escape. So quickly, let me just show you the new line escape. Alright, so here's just a uh, simple output saying line 1 and line 2. You'll notice that they're both on the same line. Now if I take that same thing and, no, and I add in my new line escape sequence and run this, alright, you can see now that it's split line 1 and line 2 is on that second one. You'll notice that there's an empty space here. That's why that's why this line two was spaced over one. So if I wanted line two to start exactly at the start, I would have to snuggle that up to my escape and then run it. So like this. All right. If I wanted a couple of empty rows, I could add in several new lines and you'll see it'll print a whole bunch of white space. So that's the basic of escape sequences um, in that lab one that we'll be doing. 
uh, Thursday and Friday, uh, you'll have some practice with escape sequences.